Lights, camera, action. In a studio where local filmmakers talk to other filmmakers about the inside world of film. Cut. That's not the script. F*** it. We'll fix it in post. Do you wonder how films are produced and what really goes on behind the scenes? Well, stand by. Filmmakers Kevin Mumphrey, Victoria V.A. Jones, and Carson Hype Ferguson explaining all the details. Right here on F*** It, we will fix it in post podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening, I thank you for doing so. I am Kevin Mumphrey, and this is once again, f*** it, we'll fix it in post. I'm here with my colleagues, Karsten High Ferguson yeah. and Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? Now, do we have any Mike Tyson fans in there? Yeah, yeah, big. I mean, big. at a the baddest certain man point. On the, planet. the baddest man on at the planet. At a certain point. Yeah, he's the baddest man on the so, planet. That's cool. And now, now like, you see how he, he kind of, like, went through his whole transformation. Now he could be giving, like, little Boosie good advice. Uh, he's a change. I, I don't man. know if that's I go a little thing. bootsy wise, but I, I I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Yeah, he's, but I'm, I'm like I'm like if you if you listen to that talk, you would have never imagined in your life that Mike Tyson would talk to somebody like Lil Boosie. And, oh, and, and nah, get, I get what you're saying. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm like, okay. You're like, you're like, like man, like what kind of what kind of world do I live in? Nah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you know the and that's been many document documentaries. Films. Uh, it's actually Jamie Fox at one point was supposed to play Mike Tyson. I heard that, but never, never sufficed. But n- n- not Netflix. Hulu has. Is it a movie or a mini series? It's a series. Mini series about Mike Tyson's life, and Mike Tyson is not happy about it. He is not happy about it. I he, get it. I understand. Why would you not include him? It's just silly. Uh, but the, it's executives like it's a money grab. So they figure out a way to get rights somehow. Does he have but like, all of his life rights? He probably, don't know. But probably, he's probably also not, probably not. He's also a public figure, and you know, when you being a public figure, the yeah. rules are somewhat different. I don't know, so that's, that's they can weird. make they can make a film like they can't make a film about like your mama, <laughs> and she <laughs> she's not involved, and so it's like surprise, <laughs> she can sue. But yeah, the only re- the only way sue. I believe this is how I work, I could be wrong, it would be great to have a lawyer for this is type of stuff. But I believe the only way he can sue, but public people can sue for almost anything. The only way they usually get successful by it, it has to show up so it was being done. They used their name and malice. There there has been some sort of ill intent. Well, the problem I, well is, yeah, I, I don't I don't know about that. I, I I think he he had to sign over his life rights at some point in time. Uh, probably. Probably and the fact that he again. There's many film films and documents been done. So, so, so a some, studio at some point may time, have his at some point in time. He like yeah, he he, saw, he had yeah, to. Yeah. There's no there's no way you can make a film of somebody who's still living and them not be involved or not them not going after you after you put it out. I mean, it it happens. Like, I mean, they they went Hollywood after, has a way they, of fi- yeah, making but, that happen. Like, I mean, like since we're talking about uh, Tyson, or whatever, and going full circle with it, you remember the Hangover with the the tattoo that Mike Tyson got, right? Yeah. That that tattoo artist, because of the way he had his like contract set up with that, he only like licensed Mike Tyson to have the tattoo on his face. So, license. Like, so like, wow, it's it's a license for him to have the tattoo on his face and to appear in a film. Once they recreated or whatever, they were in, infringing on infringing on that license because they had to get a relicense, and that's when that that tattoo artist made like a, bo- a boatload of money. Now I've heard to, well, I've heard something like that involved in necessarily uh, photography because mm-hmm. hmm. it's like when the photographer takes your photo, they own that photo, so they can do whatever they want with it. Right, and you've heard like certain celebrities with uh, nudes. Uh, not necessarily news, but that as well. Hmm. But they may like the picture may become like an iconic photo of that person, so that photographer may, you know, licensing it out for certain projects, or may license, or an artist may license it out. They may put use that image and make like a bunch of shirts, merchandise, right? And right. that photographer sues because like, no, I own that image. Me like, no, that's me, but no. The image that you took was made by me. I technically own that image, mm. and sometimes they they win on those technicalities. It's it's weird. It's like it, it's, it could be weird. something. It's it could be like, you, right? But it is not yours. It's got to be in a contract, though. It's got to be expressly written a certain way. 
Cause but like, that's just like a, just a new a, artist. If you snap a picture, you I guess you go by like some certain basic copyright. But I'm mean like, you don't necessarily you can't license somebody. If, if I took a picture of somebody out here on the street, I couldn't license that to like you know a, a brand to make money off of without giving that that person money. But if they're a fig- public figure, the rules completely change. Well, I I still couldn't use it in the ad because like they would still have to get it you know somehow. Like, cause they they would be involved. Like, I couldn't like run it. I couldn't run like Dial Soap. Couldn't run an ad against that picture. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Like, like for commercial purposes, if it was just in a magazine or whatever, or something like that, be like, oh, some op-ed piece, something like yeah. that in a in a in a newspaper. It, that's different than like you know commercial ad. Be like, you if that's the case, you go out to the beach or whatever. You, Pick the finest woman or whatever, and now you got like a, a Calvin Klein ad. Well, you can you can always blur their face out. You like yeah. you, you Photoshop like Calvin Klein on the underwear. Then you got the underwear. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Now, does it make you less inclined to watch? It? No, I'm watching it. I'm not watching it. I'm watching it. I'm not watching it. Now, VA, why are you watching? Because I want to see how it turns out. I want. I, I mean, it might be good. You never know. Yeah, Mike Tyson wasn't a part of it, but I can't knock something that's good. Now I have I, it might be good. So I'm kind of conflicted on it because in one at one aspect, I kind of would like to see it with his impact, with his kind of him being a part of it. But it's also you like Dr. Dre was very much a part of coming out of Compton. Dr. Dre looked amazing in that movie. Like right, you, but who, looked, all the other look, people, well, how did look, they look? Huh? So it's like I almost think sometimes it's good to show a version of a person. From maybe another another viewpoint, not necessarily right. yours, because we tend to make ourselves look incredibly rosy in, when, when we're uh, just like the Tony Braxton movie. I like that movie though. The Tony I Braxton. I didn't see it. You so. Never seen. It's actually a good movie. It really. Is. Of course, y'all didn't see it because probably it was on Lifetime, and you know what I'm saying. Then we definitely didn't yeah, watch. Y'all don't it. watch definitely Lifetime, but it's even, okay. You know what I'm saying. Didn't even see the commercial. I, I, you know, I, I just want to you know, say I ain't watched Lifetime since I was forced to watch Lifetime last. That's time. cool. That's, that's usually how it I works get with that, us, man. But you know what I'm saying. Eventually, one day I'm gonna work for Lifetime, so that means you y'all will have to start watching Lifetime movies if I direct them, right? I mean, I watch the movie. I don't know if I necessarily have to watch. So what I start directing everything. So I'll probably watch it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here. This guy right here. I'll find a way. Oh I'm gonna get y'all to watch Lifetime. I mean, I mean one, one of my friends. She, I mean, she is it going? She should probably she probably take me up on that offer or take you up on that offer, <laughs> and, and by by vicariously, I'll, I'll be watching it too. I'll y'all are gonna ask, watch I'll Lifetime. I'll ask you and your friend about it. No, so I'm gonna get y'all to tune in on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you in advance. Uh, you see so, how I mean, me? Like, so is it gonna be like a lifetime, lifetime movie, or it's gonna be a lifetime, lifetime movie? Yeah, so, we need so, those cliff notes. So, so, <laughs> so here's what's gonna happen, right? Uh, so the uh, the the woman, right? She's gonna be like, uh, you know, this 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 great grand woman that's being held down <laughs> by this man. Oh my god! And then uh, he's gonna start hitting her. <sighs> no, that's then, a Tyler Perry movie. And then somehow, like, she's going. I to, mean, there's uh, a... she's gonna overcome like that that J Lo movie enough. <laughs> she's gonna learn how to uh, fight. That was a good movie, though. <laughs> the, whatever we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> turn it over. <laughs> So, bring um and I didn't realize that Carson didn't know know about this film. That there was another film that was made about a artist when this point when this artist was alive. It was a Michael Jackson film. Flex Washington. Who I played uh, who, Michael Jackson. Who directed that? Do we? Uh, do we see now. Do, see do now. Really, you've asked the question. Do we now, really okay. need to look that up. Though? I got to now. We have to know like, who directed that movie. Do, do we have to know? Yes, we do. Well, we didn't know up until that this is point. that is like that. That's I mean. So so that's not even Jeopardy knowledge. You know, and the I, thing I is, is nobody definitely. learned from that movie because <laughs> that movie was so hard. Alan Moy, shout out to you. <laughs> what else have they directed? Ah, see now I gotta look. Let me let me find that they directed like <laughs> Oscar winning films, which. Very Say possible, what? but hey, you ain't, gotta, ain't, ain't no you gotta, you gotta learn. Hey, you gotta learn. From, I hope from. that was, I hope that was their first film. <laughs> oh, let's see, uh, unconventional filmmaker, he, unconventional filmmaker, unconventional. <laughs> that's what it shows. That's, that's an interesting movie poster. Ah, uh, Empire Records. Do you remember, remember that? Oh, actually, Empire Records is actually a good film. Yeah. Uh, what is this? New New Waterford Girl. 
Never nah. seen that. Never seen that one. Nah, like that. That looks like one of those. Uh, those. Uh, Weirdville. It, it, it looks like very, um, uh, like art house film. Say well, nothing. <laughs> then Michael Jackson won art house. Jail bait. What's that right there? With the uh, with the shoes. Empire Records. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that was that was a good one. That See that one. that one I remember. I don't remember watching it, but I do remember hearing about it. I'll, yeah, yeah. He's it, was, been, it was it was very countercultural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's been he's been out. He's been directing for a while. Screenwriter. All but that. but but then again, you got to think too with the inputs. Like if, if he's working for a major studio, even a minor studio, the people that like got the money, those are the ones that are gonna uh, you know what I'm saying like tell you you know what's going on. Uh, yeah, but something cause, in you because look look at look at old boy uh, that did that that George Michael uh, video. He did Aliens Three. Um, uh, was it Sorkin? Yeah, Aaron Sorkin. He had a terrible experience with Alien Three. He didn't get to call the shots. That he was a young up and coming dude. They got, they grabbed him because they wanted a name to like you know attach to a film hmm. like on a on a uh, on a you know behind the scene production side. And then they they were like, hey, if he's young enough or whatever, we'll be able to manipulate him to do whatever we want him to do. So I mean, it happens. It happens to a lot of like good directors earlier in their life. But then yeah. it leaves a bad taste in their mouth, and they're like, "Never again." Because mm-hmm. sometimes, if you do, if it's so, if it's so egregious, egregious, it, yeah, you gonna, tend it's, to, it's, yeah, it's going to go with you. It's going to stick with you, and it's going to hurt your chances. Even though it's this person behind the scenes, that, like you know, money guy, that, right? That yeah, really, probably had aspirations to be something else. But who is the money guy that had Flex play him? I d- now I'm it's trying just to think how popular. What, what year did it come out again? 2004. So it's been shot like 2003. They may have casted it maybe, what, late 2002 maybe? So 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 when was One on One on? So they, they, Man, were, they were trying to... Um, around that time though, wasn't it? They, they, they were trying to get they were trying to get bang for buck kind of thing, right? So they, they like, they got a... a, a but he, a, I think he was good. He was pretty good at doing impressions of Michael, wasn't it? They, they got a, a, a well enough to do actor, you know, that with, with a little bit of a base to kind of push... And if that it can cross pollinate or whatever, put a little bit of money into it, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Whoever did that makeup, they just they just completely ruined everything. <laughs> you didn't even look at the acting or nothing. nothing. I don't even remember it. I don't me neither. I just looked at it and I was like, something something's not right here. It, like why? It, why? You look like a ghost. Uh, completely like a ghost. <laughs> Michael the ghost. <laughs> But so now, would you all rather, if you were doing, if you had got ca- got, you know, asked to direct a film based on a living celebrity figure, would you rather have their input or always rather do it with without? Yeah, yeah, always. You always go for the input. I mean, even the family, I respect, right? Because like, you don't want them at a premiere or at like you know talking to the trades, like you know, bad mouth in your film. That that's that's not a good thing, but I, at the I, same I, time, I it's the people who also were around them. Yeah, you know, some celebrities, not all of them, they disregard their families and they go for the people who have been there with them through the whole ride. So, you going to talk to their family might not be the same thing as you talking but to see, the person who's been there with them the whole time. Sometimes the problem with that, the general population, unless that artist has like literally put that out there. We don't know what is what. That that is true. That is so true. So when we hear from the general public hears from the family, we just go with the we just kinda internalize and go, Well, I'm close with my family. The, yep. How would like why wouldn't Prince be close to his family? So why would that be I mean, yeah, that makes sense. his bro his brother owe him twenty dollars for seventy nine. <laughs> Probably twenty thousand. <laughs> hey, like so I got this. I so have so, a bunch of family members that got an idea. So I, I, I want to make sure I get this straight. VA saying um, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. That that's what that's what VA just said, right? I'm not going to put words in somebody's what? mouth. I'm the, <laughs> I think you need to ask her. You, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym, right? What? What? What is? What? What does that mean? I'm talking about, talking about uh, like the people riding with you. Yeah, and sometimes that's not family. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's sometimes it's not family. Yeah, so, so you gonna go with but, the people to shoot? shoot but when the shoot, the when the shots run, our family just show like to come back, don't they? Mm. <laughs> Be like, oh, I remember you. Oh, yep, remember me well. I'm, I'm like, oh, oh, you, you was one of my favorite cousins. Yep, favorite. It's funny how that works. Yeah, <laughs> you like my twelfth cousin. I was like, we ain't even related. <laughs> I, just, I just made that up. <laughs> or cousins you ain't never seen before. <laughs> we just made that up. Now, Karsten, would you, if you were directing the film, would you rather that have that person's input or? Yeah, hell yeah, always, like always. And now, now, okay, the input is one thing. Now, creative control and all that other stuff. That's yeah, that's, okay. So that, that. That's that's way way different. That's something else. And I'm like, I'm like, now we ain't doing all that. We're like, we ain't gonna have the family <laughs> in the director's chairs. But that's the but that's how the family. Feels not all families who have been you know, but Great certain celebrity. families are like. But look, look at look at look at uh Will Smith with King Richard. Yeah, but the daughters were involved. Yeah, so I'm like I'm like that. That's how you that that that's a a more optimum situation because yeah. they they wanted to show their dad in a good light, right? And they wanted to tell a certain story, and then and everybody was on board with that. Yeah. But at the same time, you got family members who because he got other kids that didn't care for that family. And, 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 and oh, right. check this out! Check this out! Hulu had that Wu Tang uh, like docu series, whatever, and they had several members of the Wu Tang Clan involved. You mean to tell me you can't reach out to Mike Tyson? It, it all depends on also who who did it, who put that together, who put that together. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's playing on Hulu, but who are the people who put it together? Mm. Hulu probably just bought it. Yeah, yeah, that could be the case. But I'm like, but I'm saying, yeah, yeah, they, I'm saying they like, really could be the guys. What is it? What does that look like, though? I mean, in, in this climate where Dave Chappelle, whatever, basically put Comedy Central on notice, and he's like, they hurt my feelings. But I, and Dave Chappelle has like a really good relationship with Netflix. Yeah, yeah. That they would, they would kind of, oh, okay. Yeah, but but Comedy Central was selling the rights away, like left and right. You know what I'm saying? Like Netflix bought it and then renegotiated with Dave, made him happy. Whatever that yeah, means. My, whatever, whatever, whatever that means. I, I feel that like, I feel like his bank note was that means. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. The very like because um like I didn't think they should fail like um uh, I think he has ownership, a g- great, a bit of ownership of it now. Good, good. No, that that's great. That's great for him. And I think they kind of like yeah. He just made the right move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, it, he leveraged his power there. Yeah, now er, er, everybody ain't doing that. Everybody. Now, when the because I know I asked y'all, which I'd rather have them involved, but I was thinking somewhere, some another kind of angle. So, like documentaries. So, Kanye recently had a documentary, mm-hmm. right? And I guess he wasn't necessarily involved in that. Yeah, because it was I forgot the guy's name who did the footage, but it was all his footage. So it probably, it probably wasn't under contract or whatever. That's, right, because this was yeah. like before Kanye blew up. Yeah, he's like just had somebody like following him around. He probably thought yeah. it was a cool thing. And, and like so the, the dude's documenting all this stuff, like this celebrity, and then makes his documentary after the fact. So that gets us kind of back to that whole, that's, it's me, but I didn't shoot there. Another person shot it, so they have ownership of what you were doing at this time because they got, they kind of almost have like somewhat of a copyright of, I don't even know if it's necessarily copyright, but they have you being necessarily recorded. Right. Just in your life. And it just so happens to, which I mean, struck gold on this, by the way. Yeah, because of who Kanye is now. And who, I, like, who would have thought that? But but if you're just following around some regular person thinking they're going to be the next Kanye, good luck with that one. Good luck with that. Cause but I, who thought Kanye would, they didn't think. I, I don't mean, know, yeah, bad, but the Ka- person Ka- probably didn't Kanye think that he Kanye. was gonna be. Kanye thought Kanye. I'm talking about the person who was filming though. But he, I mean, he and he said he, he, he felt will, like there was something. But I mean, I just know he could imagine this. But he thought he was gonna probably be like you know just a, a big real, rapper. Just or a big rapper. honestly, probably I mean back then probably like he may be one of the like elite producers. Oh, oh, he was already an elite producer. Yeah, so he like he may be like, like the, I, I, like so the. He's already popped in this realm. I was like, uh, he's starting to like kind of bubble a little bit over here. Yeah, so that, that may have been where my estate. I don't know, but Kanye did was necessarily involved in that, and he almost wanted them, I guess, not to even release it. Why you and think I, it came out just now? And apparently doing really well. Like it, it didn't. So I would think like with like with necessarily a 
reenactment or film of sorts. Right. I'm more inclined to be more okay to watch something without the person's involvement because it's not like a a like straight up depiction. Like you know when there's actors and scenes involved, we're not right. gonna get it completely right. Yeah. But yeah. is is a is a telling of a story of someone's life through another lens. Now, now, that gets you sued though. That to depends a point. on the the intent. Like I don't think Mike can sue and win. Yeah, but I'm saying like if somebody made a uh like a life uh, a movie about your life. I'm pretty sure uh, now me yes I'm, I'm is, suing yeah, their pants yeah, off. Yeah, that's not good. Cause Lord knows but what yeah. they're putting on there. But if me, you were a public figure, no more britches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, suing, like a, suing them off. Like if they just like make a film of like my life in 2004, then yeah, I'm gonna have to sue. Like I, <laughs> I don't need to be answering any of those questions. My life, my life, my but life. No, but it'll uh, come up though. But it, yeah, now next question. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. it's uh, gonna come up. But as far as um, like I'm using Kanye's situation, it's more of a document, documenting of this person's life. So it's a, it's a little bit more factual, right? Or like you can't. It will be looked at in that manner. You can't fake footage to a certain extent when it's raw. That was all real footage. So you put the story together. You know what I'm saying? Now, do you feel? Like that's more inclined for the person to now me personally, like how much of a con- control free Kanye would be, I probably wouldn't want him involved neither. But do you think it would be a better that he more of should have had some say? Not really, because and not on a documentary. Right? Not really, because at the same time it's it's all raw footage so and the story reveals itself too in a right so you when you put it together it's gonna reveal itself and i don't was kanye upset i don't know was he upset when they I came mean, he out he was tweeting and stuff about it so who knows but pro- <laughs> I'm, it's kanye i'm just gonna assume yes he kanye was tweeting hmm. <laughs> i'm just gonna assume I'll say just like just like uh he had cat cats at the gap with trash bags that is crazy. Did you hear? Oh my god! He, he re- they, they really have. Yeah. Yeah. So he said that he was up. He went into the gap and he was upset because they had his clothes on hangers, and he wants to know. He wants to make sure people understand what it feels like to be homeless. So he had them put them in bags. So if you want Kanye clothes at the gap, you have to go and dig through the bag so, to find your size so, and, and whatever wait, outfit wait, you wait. want. So this, I'm not making this so up. So you're going to pay thousands of dollars. But it's at the Gap. So how much? How much? How much of the clothes? I ain't shop. I don't shop at the Gap. But I'm just saying, how much are those clothes? I mean, I mean, I, like I might know somebody to shop at Baby Gap. I, I, ain't I never, got it. How much? I never fell into. They're the not gap. that. I don't think the. I, whatever. Uh, y'all know. I don't think the Gap like sells thousand dollar clothes though. Do they? I, I don't know. I have no clue. I, I don't think so, but I mean, who uh, knows? okay. So, uh, yeah, they're not thousand. Let's see, one fifty four. There's a mm, okay. thirty four ninety nine. I'm rather surprised at that. Fifty four ninety nine. Okay. <laughs> so okay, these are um, reasonably priced gap clothes. That's why he got I'm them in very, garbage bags. I'm very like reluctant to say that, <laughs> <laughs> but they're not like in. They're not what I was thinking, pricing wise. But I, I, I mean, ne- to never pay for anything. the homeless experience, I just I, I don't mean, know if there's a reasonable I mean, I mean, price hell, for that. Hell, man, we got the metaverse. Hell, why not? <laughs> I would rather pay for re- metaverse clothing than but homeless clothing. Do you understand that people are gonna go and they're gonna dig through those trash it's, bags and they're gonna find their sizes and what and they I like and they're gonna buy? And it. I hope there's video and there should be a document <laughs> documentary on this and you should direct it me yes Hell absolutely no nope. i will i will now that is a waste will, of my time i will watch that on life okay i'll put it on <laughs> lifetime <laughs> hey, for, <laughs> for 10 more dollars i'll throw dirt in your clothes <laughs> i'll give you the full experience <laughs> I'll, now, throw, I'll throw dirt on your brand new clothes i look was and, this and, kanye approved dirt for for 20 <laughs> no no i'm saying like i'm like yo i will i will contract out my services per you know what I'm saying per, per, per person. <laughs> per person. 
<laughs> okay, let's like, go. Oh, look, oh, look, we we got our limit. This five, we get to throw the dirt. Now give me my money. But uh, good lord, I lost my train of thought. I, I, I'm still somewhat shocked that Kanye has clothes at the gap. I didn't. Th- I thought you knew that. No, I really did. No, no, and the whole homeless thing. Like I knew it exists. I just didn't know to that degree. That's crazy. Right. But to wrap things up, rather, yeah, just wrap this up. So you sure you want to wrap it up? Because I, you know, <laughs> I could go on and on about this. Like Erica Badu. Yeah, completely, mm-hmm. completely. Own, now, would you own. okay? So I'm just gonna would you like us? Because artists are very you know, sensitive about their shit. Sensitive. <laughs> so, like, would you want to do a film adaptation of a life of an artist? Who would it be? Yeah, I could. It'd be Missy Elliott. Mm. Why would you ask uh, me that question? I just because I just wanted you to say it. I I uh, I assumed that, but just in case All, you just always. Else, Missy Elliott. Now, if somebody might come along and do it before me. That's cool. But Missy Elliott gonna have Missy Elliott gonna have probably about three or four uh, movies about her then. Cause I'm doing one of the movies. You gonna have she, me and her rendition of it. Whoever else want to do it, whatever. Surprisingly, she hasn't had anything. I, Cause it I ain't mean, time that's all. That's it ain't time. It's not time. I mean, what? No, she's still doing. She's still doing music. I mean, you can get from like because I mean, there's so much story nah. there just from now. She's, you got her dealing with uh the was it the, the dude from uh Devante? Yeah, the basement. You got that the basement years. Then you've got her meteoric rise. Then you've got her her working with Timberland. Well, I mean, she worked with Timberland since on the her basement. projects. Yeah. Then you got them I mean, two they, they getting came a, up together. Yeah, yeah, they came up. The, then you got them doing Aaliyah. And that whole blow up. Yeah, but still at the same time, she's not done as an artist. So why would you, why would you do it now when she's not done as an artist? Why, why not do it now and show like the growth, and then you yeah. like, leave, you get leave room for because as far as like especially like women artists, like she is very uniquely placed. Like I, there's mm-hmm. no one that's kind of have that has her lane. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people don't think about her. And they don't, she, she's and so that, that's why I think it should probably be done now, because it, like it's almost like an afterthought until somebody like I remember someone when Lil Wayne says Missy's his, his his favorite artist, right? And they were like, "Wait, Missy?" Yeah, they, they were like, oh, "Why would you say that?" I'm like, "Yo," and they just thought he was just both, and they think she was just boasting up a woman. He was just boasting up a woman, but no, no it's like no, she's no dope. creatively, no, she's dope, she's dope. And like I mean, there ain't too many men that does all that she does. I, I know so. I, I think now would be good for her to, just to show like she's done things that men artists can't do. Shout out to Lil Bow Wow. Like she's <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You think like even I, as a <laughs> like that's just weird that you would throw that out there. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Is there a story behind it? No. Just a shout out to Bow Wow. I just wanted, like he he said he said men artists and Lil Bow Wow is the first man artist to like come in my head. I was like, that's okay. a that's like, bow out out of all the male artists, bow wow is what came to your mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody else. He, he's he's one of Jermaine Dupree's like greatest acts. Greatest acts. Jermaine. So we're, so we're not counting the brat. We're not counting. Uh, I, I, said, I said one of them. One of them. I didn't say the <laughs> Usher. We're, we're not like, right. We're not counting Usher. Well, we're Usher, not counting Usher, Usher the times count. with Usher was his own. Usher was his own thing. Usher was already on the face before. Do anything with uh, he worked with Jermaine Dupree, but Jermaine. But was you always kind of like connect those. You connect those two almost as much as you connect Bow Wow and Jermaine. Yeah, but Jermaine actually was brought Bow Wow and developed him. Like that's Big Brother, even though like you know they treat him like little brother. They but treat who like little brother? Little Bow Wow, or about mm-hmm. excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, my bad. Fre- you talking about Jermaine? Fre- Freud didn't slip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh. I said, little bow wow. It's bow wow now. <laughs> oh, okay. I think you got bow wow. that twice before you realized. <laughs> so, yeah, that's funny. So, 
<laughs> I, don't take me serious. I'm best with y'all, man. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Talk about Missy Elliott. I just, more. I just want, to, I want to see how far you were gonna take it. Hey, I, I was like, that's I, exactly I, what I was doing. Like, I, was like, I, was like, I don't know why I put up with this silly shit. Like, for real. For real, this is just, this is, this is this pretty. Is, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, let's see how far. I'm like, you know, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me let me turn this car around. <laughs> I'm just saying. I I wanted to know the things in, that come out of your mouth that form in your head. I just want to know where you take them. Cause it, you, you say something. Nah, I'm not gonna stop you from driving, right? Like, <laughs> and then I just want to know. You're I want to know where you're nah, going with nah. it. Cause eventually you gonna make a point, and I just want to know where you're going with it. Yeah, sometimes, like, but this time I was being completely <laughs> facetious. <laughs> but now that's up. There's completely. artists that you could direct an adaptation of their life. Who would it be? Oh, me? Yeah. Yes, a living artist. A living or oh man, like eh. living artists be kind of hard. Um. Maybe um, like go back to uh, the roots or whatever music and all that stuff. It'd be like uh, like a uh, old boy from uh, Goody Mob, CeeLo? Yeah, yeah. I like I like I like CeeLo mm. CeeLo Green a lot because because I think I think he has like so much depth to him as a person that a lot of people don't see. Yeah. And then after that, it'd be probably like three stacks. I would go more for three stacks, but I can I can see CeeLo. Yeah, but but CeeLo like nobody sees that coming. Yeah, uh, right. Most most cases, but I mean he's he's such like an eclectic person, and then you you could even just make it just on the Niles Barkley stuff. Yeah, because like that that's so different. Than that came Bob. out of nowhere, and then it just it. It was, I mean, it was good. It was good. I mean, I think maybe sales wise and everything, it pro- Niles Barkley probably done better for him than Goody Mob. I almost Maybe. feel like a, he was almost holding back on Goody Mob. I don't think he was holding back. I, I just think like you got to. Or you only you, you, you well, hold back maybe. You got to share the spotlight. Like, you got to share the yeah, spotlight. Right. With a lot so of you people, only so. you only you know, let like maybe like a slither of your talent go completely off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going with the complete layup on this one. So I would say a Stevie Wonder. Okay. I think you said alive. That's what I said. He's alive. He's still alive. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're going to go ahead and end it. <laughs> Man. See, we was going good. I don't know what happened. Man. <laughs> Man, my, my, hey, my bad. My bad, cover that. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Stevie Wonder is not going to uh, uh, nah, promote like, this show. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should, I should. <laughs> Like, I, I should have I should have hit up Google. He ain't so, gonna give us no sponsorships. So, to all the living artists that are listening. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> no. man, like, look, man, like, hold on, hold on. Cut it off. Hold on. Thank you all for listening. Cut the show off. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. cut it That's off. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> what the Oh my God. What? Oh man. I look, look, look. <laughs> What? You just saw the word come out. You didn't go. Let me grab that back. It was just <laughs> nah, nah. That, that shit was going. That shit was out of here. And it, I mean, I was like, I was like, I was like, oh, 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 god. Oh, sponsorship, huh? Let me just let me just drop burn, kick that. Burn that shit. You burn the boats. Mm. When you leave the ship, you burn the boats. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we can stop that one. Oh, what was the other? One? Did you have an? I just gave you yeah, one. Yeah, you did. I thought you had another one. What the hell? Because I don't think.